Exciting news this week, BMW have just released the LCI revision for the G82 M4. This is something that I've been waiting for for a long time, so let's look into the differences between the pre-LCI and the new LCI revision. Firstly, let's start with the exterior changes. The most notable change to the exterior is the one that usually occurs during an LCI revision, the headlights and taillights. BMW across the range has been phasing out the semicircular halo or angel eye for the chevron or fang style lights that are seen in other models like the X5 LCI released about six months ago. BMW have also been phasing out the optional laser headlights. Their justification is that with advancements in LED technology there is no longer a discernible difference like there once was. In reality, the laser part was only applicable to full beam. So unless you regularly drove on quiet country roads with no oncoming traffic, you're not really going to miss them. I really like the style of the pre-LCI Angel Eyes. The jury is still out for the new Fang style lights. I think this might be one that you grow to love in time, a bit like what it was like for most when the G80 first released with its infamous front end. Either way, with BMW moving everything towards this new style, it is only going to age the pre-LCI version as we see more cars on the road using this new Fang style design. They still offer two designs, the standard LED and active LED, the latter including the blue accents like before on the laser LED versions. The pre-LCI had two beams on each headlight, the LCI version now only has one in each. You can also option headlights with the dark shadow line exterior trim to give the headlights a more menacing look. And now for the tail lights. I think most BMW fans are glad to see the LCI revision includes those originally reserved for the CSL. Well, most will be happy, maybe not existing CSL owners. Personally, I really like the CSL style. The laser LED filaments give a great 3D depth. I don't think there are many cars out there using a similar design. What I don't think will be as good is that these filaments will most likely be hard to see in bright daylight. The promo video kind of highlights this as you can see here. These tail lights come as an option when you select the technology pack or the ultimate pack. They come with the adaptive headlights. The tail lights are not an option you can specify individually. Well, at least in the UK that is. A new option for the G82 LCI is the option to add a sunroof to the coupe model. However, as with the previous F80, this comes at the expense of losing the carbon fibre roof, which is then replaced with a gloss black alternative. This is a free option for those that dare ticket when ordering a new car. With the previous F80, the LCI brought the competition model with some very nice looking alloy wheels. For the G80 version, the LCI budget could only stretch to powder coating the existing double spoke 825M alloy wheels in a bright silver. The stock paint colour options available have remained the same between the pre-LCI and LCI variants. No new options over what was available before. However, the price in the UK as it currently shows on the configurator has changed from most metallic options being included to now charging £875 for the same colours. For those with deeper pockets, you can still obviously choose from a wide range of BMW individual paints. Another price increase applies to changing the colour of your brake calipers. Before the LCI version was released, the brake caliper colour was a free option to change from the standard blue to either red or black. Whereas now, it, as it currently stands on the UK configurator, you now have to pay £325 to change the colour. A new addition to the LCI is the ability to add an M graphic which is sprayed onto the car over the bonnet and boot lid. I think it is very clever how this is sprayed onto the car and you can get it in either black or red for the costly sum of £1,600. It's a nice touch, however I wouldn't be surprised if vinyls start hitting the market using a similar design which can be purchased and fitted for a fraction of the cost. This does appear to be an insight into paint technology and what might be possible in the near future, a bit like how Apple allow you to customise products with emojis. This is likely to become a more cost-effective option as it becomes more mainstream. 
the bundled package options available in the UK have also changed. I'll start with the good news first. This is a quick list. The M Drivers Pack is an option that removes the standard 155 mile an hour limit and raises it up to 180 mile an hour for the coupe or 174 mile an hour for the convertible. It also includes a BMW driving experience where you get professional tuition in M cars on a racetrack. This was previously a £2,300 option in the UK and BMW have very generously discounted this £125. Now for the not so great news. All of the other packages have increased in cost. The BMW UK Service Inclusive pack was £2,300. That is now over £500 more expensive. Previously, laser lights were a separate package called the Visibility Pack, or they were included in the Ultimate Pack. The Visibility Pack is no longer available, and the adaptive LED lights now become part of the Technology Pack or the Ultimate Pack. Some of these still have the same package names, but what is included has changed. Quite a few of the options also appear to have increased in price. The carbon ceramic discs used to be an £8,400 option. These are now £8,800, another £400 increase. Before we get into the interior changes, I need to mention about the engine. The X-Drive variant now has an extra 20 horsepower, up from 510 to 530. At least that is how it's quoted on the UK website. Other variants of the M4 have not had the same, which means this is likely a software tune rather than a physical change in engine parts used. BMW generally underquote performance figures, so this might mean that they've closed the gap between a stock tune and what existing G80 owners have found that the engine can achieve when you unlock the DME. Now for the interior changes. The curved dashboard screen was introduced in the final year of the pre-LCI model, so this isn't necessarily new. I'd imagine this was originally something that was meant to be saved for the LCI revision, but with other BMW vehicles in the range getting their mid-cycle revision last year and using the same screen, I think it might have been a cost-saving decision to implement it at the same time, rather than trying to postpone it until March 2024. The pre-LCI was using iDrive 8, the LCI version is using 8.5. Existing pre-LCI M4s will not be getting the same upgrade as the LCI variant. Apparently this is down to the LCI using revised hardware. BMW appear to be transitioning from a Linux-based OS to Android open source, with version 8.5 iDrive systems getting upgraded to BMW OS 9 at some point, starting with the 2024 X1. The most exciting change to the interior is a new steering wheel. It now has a flat bottom and a red 12 o'clock marking at the top. You can get the new steering wheel in leather or Alcantara for an extra £450. However, I'm not a fan of Alcantara, especially on steering wheels, because unless you're track focused, greasy hands are going to age that steering wheel faster than your new M4 depreciates being driven off the forecourt. I'm not sure what BMW's reasoning was to add the flat bottom to the steering wheel. My assumption would be to make it easier for people to get in and out of the seats, especially those that have specced the carbon bucket seats, so you have a little more room to get your legs over the side bolsters. The buttons almost remain the same between pre-LCI and LCI, the only change being the heated steering wheel button has been removed. This is now part of the car's preconditioning system, so if it is cold inside, the steering wheel will automatically turn on, presumably at the same time as the seats, or it may be possible to configure these independently. A bit of an inconvenience. Maybe they are trying to declutter the steering wheel, or maybe push more drivers into using voice gestures to control the car? Aside from the steering wheel, the other change to the dash is the air vents in the centre. They've replaced the more traditional vents which had the vertical wheels to adjust airflow and the handles in the vent to adjust direction. For the newer style, they have toggles that adjust both direction and airflow. You twist them to adjust the airflow. For the interior colour leather options, at least in the UK before the BMW Online Configurator was updated to the LCI version, you couldn't option the Fjord blue interior. Now you can. There appears to be another cost increase here. Before the LCI, some of the leather options over the standard black leather used to be a £300 increase. Now that has doubled to £600. Ventilated seats are now available for the M4, which became an option earlier in 2023 for other BMW models. 
in the UK, the ventilated seat option is an £800 extra and is only available on the standard seats. You cannot spec this option if you want the carbon bucket seats. I'm not sure why the £550 luxury instrument panel option is a thing in the LCI revision, unless this is now an option where it previously was only available if you selected the full merino leather upholstery. In terms of the new pricing structure, pre-LCI pricing started at 82520 because you could select the non-X-Drive model. The X-Drive option was 85375 it has gone up £2,000 to 87375 and the non-X-Drive version is no longer available. This is probably because most people were selecting the X-Drive option. Yes, it was 80 kilograms heavier, but you got a faster 0 to 60 time. And unless you were racing side by side against the rear wheel M4 with a rolling start, you wouldn't notice the slight advantage it had at top end for that slight reduction in weight. And as I believe everybody already knows, the X-Drive M4 can be put into rear-wheel drive only mode for drifting or donutting, so there's no real loss there. Although these variants are not available in the UK, in the US the price for the standard M4 and M4 competition have gone up $1,000. Now I first started looking to buy an M4 in June last year, and around that time I was spec specking a M4 with X-Drive, the Ultimate Pack and the M-Pro Pack so it had the carbon ceramic discs and most of the options that come that you, that you want like carbon bucket seats. At that time it was around £105,000 including the options. Now with the LCI revision and the increases that they've made on packages, the uh, same specification is now coming out around £8,000 more expensive. So although the base price has only gone up £2,000, it's the options that add most cost to the car. Well that's all the differences I could find for the new G82 M4 LCI revision. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. See you on the next one.